To start off this video, I'm going to be using the Revlon Face Illuminator in the shade Bare Light to just illuminate my face and give me that look of glowing from within. And I'm going to spread that all over my face as if it was a primer. For foundation, my foundation of choice for this look would be my Lancome Miracle Tint Foundation um, because it does have a dewy finish, but I'm a little bit too dark for it right now because I just came back from Jamaica. So I'm mixing it with my Fit Me Foundation by Maybelline, which is a little bit darker, and it also has a dewy finish, so they work very well together. And my application of choice for this would be my Beauty Blender with a few sprays of Max Fix Plus um, because this is perfect for a dewy finish. For my brows, I'm going to be setting them with a wax stick from Milani and then filling them in with the IT Cosmetics Universal Brow Pencil. I have a hard time getting my brows on camera, so you just get a small little clip of them. So for my eyes, I'm going to be using the shade Glisten from the Amrezy palette on my lids. And I'm just going to be buffing this out. I'm not going to be using any Fix Plus for this because I just want it to look as natural as possible because the point of the look is to have a natural glow. And I'm going to be going in with my fluffy brush just to buff the color out and make sure that it stays looking um, seamless. And with my dual fiber blending brush, I'm going to be adding the color Topaz in the crease just to add a little bit of definition to my eye. And again, nothing too harsh just to keep it looking natural. And that's just to highlight with the color vanilla, also from the Amrezy palette. And the blending brush that I'm using, it is a BH Cosmetics fluffy brush. With my L'Oreal True Match Bronzer in the color Coco, I'm going to be contouring my cheekbones and bringing that right up to my temples with my contour brush um, from Real Techniques. And I'm just going to be buffing that out real well and building it a little bit because JLo is known for her very high cheekbones. And with my large stippling brush, I'm just blending that out to avoid any harsh lines. And again, keep it looking natural. And I'm just going back in to intensify that a little bit and get my J look going. For blush, I'm going to be using the NYX Cosmetics Pinched Blush, and I'm just adding that with a BH Cosmetics Angled Brush, and I'm going to be blending that out again with my stippling brush. I like blending out um, in between every step just to avoid any harsh line buildup. So now we're going in with my L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara to add a layer of um, thin mascara before adding the false lashes. And for this look, I am using the, I believe it's 402 from Ardell. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm going to be linking all of this below. So you can um, look in the description bar if you want to know exactly which lashes these are. So now that we have both of our lashes on, I'm going to be adding a quick coat of mascara just to blend those in together. For concealer, I'm using my Rimmel London highlighter and concealer and I do use a lot of concealer but you can feel free to use a lot less I first blend that in with my finger just to warm up the product and then I go in with my beauty blender which is sprayed with fix plus to blend that all out together and make it go seamlessly onto my face and you can already see how much it brightens up your face it does look a little bit um, harsh on the sides but once you go in with your stippling brush all those lines disappear and I am just smoking out my bottom lash line um, with that same brush that the Amrezy palette comes with just the bottom end and I already added um, mascara to my bottom lashes I just can never get that part on camera So now with the same Revlon Bare Lights that you primed your face with, um, you're going to be adding that to the highest points of your cheekbones. And just keep in mind that this product is liquid, 
So you want to blend it and blend it onto your face until the um, liquid is completely dry and blend it into your face so it doesn't look patchy. When I'm done with that, I'm going to go in with a BH Cosmetic Powder Brush and I'm going to go over that with my MAC Soft and Gentle just on my cheekbones, cupid's bow, nose, and forehead, all the areas that must be highlighted. So with this loose shimmer bronzer from MAC, I'm going to be grabbing a large stippling powder brush and just putting that all over my face, mainly concentrating on my cheekbones just to add that extra glow and extra bronzy look. And this is just going to top the look off and um, finish everything off. And again, you can never forget to go back in with your blending brush. That should be the last brush that always touches your face. And for my lips, I'm using the NYC um, Appalicious Lip Balms. And you can see the shimmer in that makes it almost like a white highlight. And then I'm just going to tone that down with an NYC Clear Gloss over it um, to just make it look natural and shimmery, of course. I'm sorry I keep looking back. I was just having a moment with Pretty Little Liars there. I forgot to edit this part out. Sorry. It's the episode before the finale. And this is the final look. This is my J.Lo inspired glow. I hope you guys like this video and you find it helpful. Please don't forget to subscribe.